Hey guys, um, thought I'd do a, uh, another video. Um, I'm gonna do a garage tour this time, but I'm gonna do it with um, so with my voice. So I'll be talking about the cars. I only do this first garage because if I did more, it'd take way too long. Um, so yeah, we'll just do this garage. So it's, I think sports cars um, on the second level, and then muscle cars up top. Um, and I'll talk about probably each car. So this. Um, this car is pretty special. This level is pretty special. Um, this was, I guess, sort of my first proper supercar in the game. Um, if you guys know who oh, Chris Chris Harris, I think that's his name, um, off the the new Top Gear, uh, which isn't really Top Gear, um, but he drives the Bugatti Chiron, and it's in this really really nice. Um, gold, I think it's called a gold champagne colour. Um, and it's black at the back. But yeah, really, really good looking car. Um, definitely my favourite colour. Because it's something different. Um, I know everyone makes it blue and black. But uh, I thought this looks fantastic in the champagne gold. I'll move on to the Pagani Huayra. So this is another favourite of mine. Um... I couldn't get the, I think it's also a champagne colour. It was like a, it was like a silvery pink salmon colour. Um, I didn't know how to get it through, through like the crew. Um, so I went with this look. So it's a classic red. It's not metallic, so it doesn't like bleed into the, the black. And it's got the gold rims. Uh, I've got two more of these. I've got one that's all red all dark red another one that's i think a lighter red um but yeah that's definitely one of my favorite cars in the game it looks absolutely fantastic um so this has just recently been replaced uh there used to be a mclaren um, p1 here an orange one uh, i've never been a huge fan of the that mclaren i think it's eh, it's a it's a whatever car uh, but i like this more i may change it to the yellow stock version because this this is the amg gt right now um not a half bad car sounds pretty good as well um goes like the wind which is good um but yeah pretty nice car hasn't been here for very long uh, the shelby cobra so this one i based off the 427 super snake if you guys know what that is um there were two built, um, one was destroyed, um, one exists today, uh, it's like a 700 horsepower dual supercharged um, monster, yeah this car in real life is really crazy, um, so it's mainly based off that one, um, so this is the 300 SLR, I'm going to butcher it, Arden Haunt or something like that. Um, it's not the 300 SL. This is like the, the track spec one, I guess. Um, I don't know how many of these are on the world. Very few. Um, there's also the convertible version, which only two exist. Uh, one is owned by, I think, Mercedes. Uh, Mercedes have like a huge factory where I think they keep one of every car they've made, I think. Um, and one of them sits there. Um, and one of these is in a museum somewhere. I can't remember where. Um, so this is the Bugatti Atlantic. Um, this particular one. Um, my one isn't like really reminiscent of the real thing. Um, it has those strange lights and stuff. Um, but this is the missing Bugatti. They were uh, transporting it over through Europe. Sorry, on a train think during world war Two, and it just vanished they don't know where it is um they don't know if it's destroyed or someone stole it um but i think there are two more in the world there's a blue one and uh, i think there's another one but they're they're both this and the um mercedes if they were to be sold today i think they're priced at 125 million dollars each um, but yeah, crazy, crazy money. Uh, we'll go up here. Um, so this is, I'll try and talk quickly through these because I don't want this video to go too long. 
Uh, this is the Porsche from the Need for Speed poster uh, from 2015. Uh, I thought it was a cool look, so I went for that kind of look. Something different as well with that green. Um, I, th I don't think this is the 25th anniversary uh, Kuntash. It's the, the S5000 because uh, it's got the, the straight skirts along the side. Um, the previous one doesn't. It has like a round, rounder skirt. Um, be a really cool car. Really love this car. Uh, kept the stock rims because of course, why? How could you change them? It's got the iconic rims. Uh, moving on to the Diablo. So I would make this blue, but this is blue. So I went with purple because I thought that was the next best color. Um, yeah, it's a pretty cool car. This is the fastest car in the world at one point uh, when it came out. Uh, it's still it's still a very quick car. Really, really cool car. Uh, also got the stock rims. Uh, yeah, really, really cool looking car. The GDR. I uh, just did a video on this. Uh, this is a mix of an R32, 33, 34. I think it's mainly an R33 with the front of an R32. Uh, the R32 is more flat at the front. Like if you were to run this car into the back of a big truck, it'd be an R32. Um, I think the back is R34 because the lights are different sizes. The wing is R33. I think the roof is R34. Um, but yeah, I think mainly an R33. But still a cool car. Um, I forget what BMW this is, um, but in real life there's a, a track racing version and its nickname is the Batmobile. Uh, it's got huge wings, huge spoilers, got an outrageous body kit. You can't put it on in this game, sadly, uh, but still a really cool car uh, in the game and the rims are pretty, pretty nice as well. Um, the McLaren F1. This kind of changed the, I guess, the automotive world forever. Um, this was an insane car. Um, and it, in real life, it has gold in the back because uh, that was the best, I think, heat conductor material that they could get a hold of. Um, but yeah, incredibly quick car. I think in the game, it's very quick as well. Um, okay, so the M3... I know a lot of people really love this car. I really like this car. Uh, when it first came out in the game, I thought it was really odd looking. Uh, I felt like the roof was too tall. Um, but I think with the right modifications, it looks fine. Uh, so my friend had this look. Um, I think his one had a, had a livery. So I I'd copied his and didn't put the livery on. And I think I changed the rims as well. And I've got the little... Um, light window wipers. <laughs> uh, I don't know if the real one has that. Oh, come on, run, you oaf. Oh. Okay. So this is the mainly the Shelby GT500 mixed with the Boss Mustang. Um, very, very cool car. I've got two of these. Um... I'm not sure what the car is, dark blue with some diamond blue for less than probably. Um, I wish they'd fixed the bloody um, engine physics for this car because it's all broken. So you can't really, or you can drive it, but it um, it's so slow. It's so awful, uh, which sucks. Uh, but yeah, really nice car. Um, the Challenger RT, another really cool car. Had a lot of these. Um... Yeah, but uh, it's mainly the RT one. Uh, I'll try to get it as close as possible. Um, digital Digital Car Addict did this build as well. Um, but yeah, really cool car. Uh, the Impala, same as my Game Attack. Uh, but yeah, I thought this was a really cool car. Uh, the back's a 67 Chevelle. Uh, and then the rest is an Impala. Um, very cool car. I can't believe how much it looks like the real thing. Same with that Challenger. They look like very close. 
uh, the Chevelle, even though it's not a Chevelle, it's called something else because it's a four door. Um, very cool as well. I uh, love that it's four door. Oh, at first I hated it, but it's kind of cool, four door muscle car. Um, yeah, pretty nice car. I think the back is an Oldsmobile of some kind. They look like the Mustang lights, but they're not really the Mustang lights. Um, so yeah, this is the same same Challenger, but it's not a Challenger. It's the Plymouth Cooter in the plum purple crazy with the the white uh, livery on the side. Oh, excuse me. It's got a rear wing as well. Now, this is definitely one of my favorites. Um, the video I did on this is probably one of my, I think, my most viewed one on YouTube. So I'm pretty happy with that. But that's a very, very cool car. Um, so this is a Javelin, but it's um, it was a custom one I think made by the Ring Brothers, I think they were called. Uh, the real one has um, the paint is off the newer M4 BMW. It's like this weird yellowy color, bit of a strange color. Um, personally, I think from this angle, it doesn't look too bad, but when you look at it from the side, that's bloody awful. <laughs> It's way too long. Uh, still not, not a bad car. And it's got the front off the Cuda. And it has the back off the Cuda. There. Yeah. But not a bad car. Um, so go to the 32 Coupe. Um, this is probably, even though I don't like hot rods that much, this is probably one of my favourite ones. Uh, I love just how over the top it is. You can really like change. You can take like the fenders off and stuff like that um but yeah i left mine pretty stock but yeah very really cool car i didn't put any liveries on it or anything oh it looks a bit weird um but yeah so i guess that's my first garage i might do a video on my second one depending on how long this video is because i can't see how long it's going for but yeah uh i'll see i'll see you guys in the next video see ya